Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome. Welcome to Tuesday morning at Mystic. Happy to have you here, whether you're here in person, in the studio, or you're my virtual friends. Really happy to have you. So let's get to practicing. My name is Kat. I'm going to be guiding you through this practice for today. Of course, as we move through this practice, if things don't feel comfortable for you, if there's something that's confusing, I want you to really listen to your body as we go through our session and to empower yourself to go with what feels right for you today. And it might not be what I'm suggesting, or you might try everything I'm saying. Don't be afraid to modify anything that I'm saying. And I try to give lots of permission for you to move freely and for you to express your body in a way that feels right for you. So let's grab either a block if you want to come into a seated position or a pillow, or you can start lying down. It's totally fine, whatever feels best for you. And if you are sitting on a block or sitting straight down, or even if you're lying down, I want you just to adjust. So some movement can come in before we settle our bodies. Maybe there's some rolling back of the shoulders or tipping the head from side to side. As we start to settle down, I want you just to take stock of where you are right now. Noticing the energy that you have. Maybe you notice all the places that make contact with the mat. And you give permission to sink a little bit deeper into all of those touch points. Don't be afraid to allow for there to be any type of softening, any type of surrender into this moment. Maybe you notice your legs and you can feel some held tension and just let it all go, the hips, the thighs, And as we settle into this present moment, as we settle into the now, I want you to tap into yourself and say, how am I today? With that same type of sincerity and kindness that you would offer someone else, I want you to bring that right back to yourself. You have full permission to just feel whatever there is. There's space for you to just move through these sensations. And I want you to notice the way you think about yourself. Maybe you step back and you become the observer and you picture yourself sitting here on the mat or lying here on the mat. 
And as you do that, how would you see yourself? Let your jaw soften. And start to expand the breath. As you're expanding the breath, you might feel that belly expand, the ribs to expand, and that chest to broaden. And as you exhale, just following the breath out, As you inhale, I want your body to feel like it's lightening. And as you exhale, to feel your body becoming more grounded in this moment. Maybe you notice the pauses between the inhalation and the exhalation. But your job right now is just to breathe. And just giving yourself a few more rounds. As you focus in on your breathing, are there places in the body that are starting to clench or tighten up? And if so, just see if there's a way you can relax it all. Giving yourself another deep breath in. And exhaling through the nose. And then keeping your eyes closed, just dropping or rocking your right ear over to your right shoulder. And then over to the left. And if you are on your back, just stay there, drawing the knees in. And if you are seated, just let those knees come together. And We'll bake our way onto our backs. As you make your way onto your back, joining our friends who already have their knees into the chest, and I want you to slowly let the knees rock from right to left, and maybe you see how far the knees can go from right to left, the arms can extend and expand out to the sides, or you can use them underneath the hips or on the shins. And then with those knees together, start to create a circle with the knees, as if you have a crayon in between the knees, and we're trying to create circles up towards the sky feeling the connection, especially as those knees move away from the chest, feeling that little sense of core awareness that starts to trigger in. You might even pay attention and notice how the neck starts to help out and where are ways that you can adjust. And when you're ready, going in the opposite direction a bunch of times, And then we're gonna slowly come into center and kick the legs up to the sky. Hands are gonna come by your sides and the palms are gonna be facing down. Now with those legs straight up, we're gonna drop the legs over about halfway to the right side. Pressing gently into the right hand and using your obliques, the feet come back up to the sky and then dropping over to the left, like a little bit of a metronome action, pressing into that left hand, engaging the core, knees lift up, 
and over to the right and lift up relax the shoulders and over to the left and back into center and we'll bend those knees squeeze them in notice what it feels like for the pressure of the legs to push down into the lower back you have two breaths right here maybe you create a breast stroking action with the knees or try something that feels right for you one more breath and then when you're ready extending the legs down the mat and extending the arms towards the back of your mat find a full long stretch of the body take a deep breath in circling out wrists ankles wiggling toes wiggling fingers and exhaling and then bending your knees coming into the foundation of a bridge feet are on the ground knees are bent hands are by your hips with the palms facing down and trying to engage those shoulders down into the mat press into the heels and scoop the pelvis lifting your hips up to the sky inhale and on your exhale curling through the spine to release down on your inhale lifting the hips up finding that scooping action our hips are coming towards the ribs lifting up as high as it feels comfortable and on your exhale lowering down really trying to exaggerate that curl now we're going to continue in our bridges and as you come into your bridges notice if it feels better or awareness needs to be brought to the knees if they're starting to buckle out or come in maybe you bring a block as a prop in between the knees so you have that physical connection and you can keep the spacing and you might notice that there feels a little bit of choppiness in the body or it might feel really smooth but we're just seeing what it feels like to open up and to wake our hips our glutes our hamstrings maybe coming up a little bit higher as you press through the heels squeeze the glutes at the top notice what kind of bypassing you do as you move your body we're going to go for about three more times yeah really feel that breath now the next time you have your hips up to the sky we're going to pause there so again maybe you walk those shoulder blades in towards each other and you're really rooting down into the arms create space between your chin and your chest lift those hips up a little bit higher squeeze those glutes just a little bit more find that internal connection relax the jaw for our last five four three two and one curl down nice and slowly and then just drop your knees over to the right and then we'll lift those knees up and drop them over to the left let the knees lift up and we're going to take that right leg and lift it up to the sky so as that leg is lifted up to the sky i want you to think of all the places on your body that make contact with the mat so the lower back is pressing in that left foot especially the heel is pressing in and if you press deeper into that left heel you can engage that left glute now on your inhale we're going to lower that right leg down to a hover keeping that lower back connected into the mat and then on your exhale pressing belly button into spine leg lifts up to the sky inhale lowering that foot down to a hover notice where the rest of the body disconnects or if you can keep it engaged the whole time exhale lift it up 
So we're going to continue like this with our leg raises. And I want you to pay attention as you come into these leg raises. I want you to pay attention to make sure that there's no such thing as an exercise that's too easy. We have the opportunity to connect more. Keep it going. We have about 10 seconds. So how do you want to engage these 10 seconds? For our last five, four, three, two, and one. Next time you have that right leg up to the sky with no rush, pause here and bring your hands behind the back of the right leg. Now circle out the right ankle, wiggle the toes, maybe even gently rocking the leg from side to side. And that's the best thing. If something feels really accessible, that's my word, accessible, that offers us the opportunity to dig deeper into the core muscles, to dig deeper into the foundation so that we really grasp what it's like to feel empowered in this position, to utilize our body in the best way that we can. Slowly releasing the right foot down to the ground, and that left leg is going to lift up to the sky. Relax the shoulders. On your inhale, lowering that left leg down to the ground. As that leg lowers, the hips move a little bit. Can you keep that fundamental belly button to the spine, lower back pressing into the mat? drawing everything in as much as we can. Maybe you can press into that right heel, get a little extra oomph into that right glute. And you can always pull back. So if something ever feels aggressive, we don't want it to feel like there's any sharpness or pain, but we do want to engage as much as we can engage. And we're gonna go for about 30 seconds or so. So just see what you can do as you move the leg, as you synchronize breath and movement together. You might notice when the core does start to turn off or when it feels strong and healthy. And we don't have to kill ourselves in order for us to grow. In order for us to strengthen our bodies, it can be done in a very safe and healthy way We have about five more seconds, so give yourself as many leg raises as it feels comfortable for you. Now the next time you have that left leg up to the sky, bring your hands behind the back of the legs, circle out the left ankle, let the leg rock from side to side a few times. And then bending into the left knee, bring the right hand behind the back of the right knee, right knee comes into the chest, and you have the option, you can kick forwards and backwards, coming up to a seated position, or you can roll onto your side, whatever feels best for you. And once we're in this seated position, just start to roll those shoulders back and away, Just seeing what that feels like. Maybe it feels like there's sand in the shoulders. Maybe it feels fluid. And you can even experiment with moving the head around. Just giving another five more times of rolls or so. And a couple different movements. And one more time. And we'll come into center and take those arms, reach them up to the sky. On your exhale, we're going to flow open to the right side. See if you can bring your right hand behind the back. Now that left hand, and it can go onto the ground. Now that left hand can do one of two things. It can cross all the way over to the right knee. 
But notice what happens within that left shoulder. Maybe pull it back and bring it to the left knee and see if that goes into that mid part of your spine, our thoracic spine. Where do we want the essence of the stretch to be? That's in our spine. So where does it hit for you? Take a deep breath in, press your chest towards that right side of your mat. Maybe lift the corners of your mouth. Exhale right here. Inhale, come on back to center, arms up to the sky. Exhale, twist open to the left, bringing right hand to that right knee. And again, maybe cross it at the beginning. See what that feels like. If it feels like it's too much in the shoulder, pull back. I have to say this is one of my favorite positions to be in because I can feel like a spiral staircase all the way up my spine, this upward sensation. Roll to the front of your sits bones. Gaze can look over the left shoulder or stay neutral. Take one more breath right here, pressing that chest towards the left side of your mat. And exhaling here. Inhale, both arms reach up to the sky. And exhale, hands are going to come to our heart space. Take a deep breath in. And out. As we pause here for one second, maybe in your mind's eye, as you are the observer of this moment, how is it you see yourself? What is it you tell yourself about you? Take a deep breath in. And let it all go. Take your hands, press them forward, and you can roll over those ankles or come letting those feet go off to the side into our tabletop position. So as we come into our tabletop position, we're going to find some cats and cows. As we find our cats and cows, you're going to lift that tailbone Open up the chest, broaden it, and as you exhale, round the back, press it up to the sky, and just one more time, lifting the tailbone, opening up the chest, and exhale. Now hold this rounded position, and I want you to shift your torso forwards and backwards, so rock, so the weight goes into the hands. As that back is rounded up to the sky, where does the sensation evolve and where does it dissolve? You can even get into that little quick child's pose from that rounded position. And then the next time your hips are going back to the heels, let them sink down. As we come into child's pose, the forehead might come down towards the mat. Those arms could be reaching forward, or you could have a nice soft bend of the arms coming into a little bit more of our TSA position, elbows bent, shoulders soft. Wherever you are, take a deep breath in and out. And another deep breath in. Notice what it feels like for your lungs to expand up towards the ceiling. What is it like for us to bow to ourselves? To honor the journey that we've taken so that we're not living in the shadow of the past and we're not stuck in the anxiety of the future, but finding gratitude for the present. Gratitude is what brings us joy in this moment. It brings us peace. Take a deep breath in. And out. Inhale, pressing yourself up to your tabletop position. Now walk your hands forward and let those hips come down. So we're coming into our knee plank. In our knee plank, I want you to have your gaze looking straight down slightly ahead of the fingers. Shoulders are stacked over those wrists. Tuck the pelvis like you're about to give a big old bear hug from behind. There's a squeezing in of the core. Take a deep breath in. 
Now on your exhale, draw the elbows towards the ribs. Come down slowly so that your chest hits before your belly, we hope. Once you're down here, relax the tops of the feet. Squeeze the glutes. Squeeze the quads. Inhale, head, shoulders lift off the mat. Once they've lifted off the mat, see if you can circle the head. Look over the right shoulder. Look over the left shoulder. Keep squeezing the glutes to protect the lower back. Take one more deep breath in right here. And exhale, release down. Inhale, press up, tabletop. Exhale, press back, child's pose. Inhale, push yourself up, tabletop position. Now walk your hands over to the left side of the mat and bring that right foot forward. As that right foot comes forward, you can play around with shifting your hips forward. Notice the placement of your own body. And you can bring a block underneath that left hand. And if there's any pressure that's coming from the wrist, let your fingers dangle forward on top of the block. Now slowly start to allow for that right arm to reach up to the sky. Finding a twist right here. What is the pressure that you're putting into that left palm? Now, let's take that right hand and bring it into a half bind. It's going to go to our lower back. Back of the hand is pressing into that back left hip or reaching over as far as we can. Take a deep breath in. And out. On your inhale, take that right arm, reach it up. And exhale, release the hand down to the ground. Let's tuck the left toes, lifting the knee off of the mat. Now, press your hips back and bend that left knee. It's kind of a funky position. We're going to propel the foot forward as we come into our forward fold. Bring your elbows to your thighs. First, come into a supported forward fold. Notice the difference. Sometimes we're so into getting into the posture we want to get into that we almost forget that sometimes we can ease ourselves down without coming from that place of habit. We come from exploration. And once you start to feel really confident, comfortable, then maybe coming into full ragdoll position, take a deep breath in. And out through the nose. And one more deep breath in. And out. Now bend your knees a lot. Bring your hands to your thighs. Inhale, tuck chin to chest. As you exhale, roll up to standing. Inhale, circle sweep arms up to the sky. And exhale, hands come to our heart space. Inhale, bend those knees, circle it up. Exhale, right hand down. Left hand is going to stretch up and over to the right side. See if you can draw that left shoulder back. Gaze can look up, gaze can look down, whatever feels right for you. But I want you to root down into that left foot and use these left obliques. Inhale, torso comes up. Both arms reach up, float down, left hand, right hand stretches up and over to the left side. Again, dial that right shoulder back. Breathe into it. Now pushing into that right foot, circle both arms up to the sky, reach up tall, palms together, swing hands behind the back of the head. Now bend those knees, tuck the pelvis, broaden the chest. No pressure in the lower back. So there's an opening of our chest. And the more you tuck that pelvis, give me your best Steve Urkel impression, the more you push those hips forward, the more we protect that lower back. On your inhale, reach those arms up to the sky. Exhale, sink into your chair. Lift the corners of your mouth. I'm smiling under here. You can't see it but maybe you can see it here. <laughs> Pressing into our feet, heels, balls of the feet, stand up tall, reach up, grow. And exhale, chair. Just a few times, inhale up. And exhale, chair. 
Two more times. Inhale, circle up, squeeze the quads, glutes at the top. Exhale, hollow out the core as we sink down. Last time. Inhale, scoop up. And exhale, sink into your chair. Press those hips back. So weight is in the heels and balls of the feet. Relax those shoulders away. Sink down a little bit lower. See if you can squeeze your thighs internally towards each other. I like to imagine I have a piece of tissue paper under my feet, so I do one of two things. I imagine I'm ripping the tissue paper in half, or I'm trying to bring my feet together, and one way might speak to you. So even try it right here. Press out, pull in, see what one feels best on you and on your body. Now pressing into the feet, inhale, arms reach up to the sky, on your exhale, find your forward fold. Bring your hands to your shins and come into your halfway lifted position. And exhale, release the hands down. Step your feet to the back of your mat. We're coming into our plank. Tuck the pelvis. You can always drop those knees down. Yeah, shake your head, always an option. <sighs> or no, you can say no. <laughs> Good, take another deep breath in. Shift forward. We're coming down to our belly. So fight gravity. Elbows come towards the ribs. As you come down, relax the tops of the feet. Squeeze those glutes. Inhale, head shoulders come up. Gaze stays down. Think about lengthening. Yes, the back of the neck. On your exhale, slowly release down. We're going to do it again. So inhale, squeeze those glutes, lift head, shoulders up. Look down, back in the neck, yes. Exhale, release down. Inhale, press up, tabletop. Exhale, child's pose. Inhale, press yourself up, tabletop position. Hands are going to go to the right, left foot comes forward. And again, as we shift forwards and backwards a few times, notice what feels right for you. And we can take that block underneath the right hand. Again, fingertips can go over the front if you feel like the wrist needs a little bit of extra support and love. And then we're gonna start to spiral the left arm up to the sky. As that left arm spirals up to the sky, relax shoulders, press in to that right hand. And then take and reach right hand over, left hand over to the right hip. The hand that was in the air goes to the back right hip. Or lower back, finding a half bind. Take a deep breath in. And out. On your next inhale, sweep the arm up to the sky. And exhale, release that left hand down. Tuck the right toes, lift the knee off of the mat. Bend the right knee, shift the hips back, and then propel that right foot forward. Coming into ragdoll, deep breath in. And out. One more deep breath in. And out. Now, Relax the arms. Inhale. Full inhale brings you up to standing. Circle arms up to the sky. And exhale. Hands come to our heart space. Inhale. Reach those arms up. Exhale. Hinge down. Chair for a second. And then all the way down. Belly hits thighs. We roll over. Inhale. Hands to shins. Halfway lift. And exhale, release down. Take a deep breath in right here. And out. On your next inhale, we're going to take that left leg, step it back. And we're going to reach those arms back. So they're going in the direction of that left leg. And then bring your belly off of your thigh. Take a deep breath in right here. And out. On your next inhale, circle arms up to the sky. Reach them up tall. Good. Now straighten the right leg. 
As you exhale, bend both knees and draw those elbows down. Inhale up. And exhale down. And last time, inhale up. And exhale down. Hold it as low as you can, relaxing the right toes without letting the knee go beyond the toes. And find a little pulse right here. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stand up tall. And then we are going to release the hands down and take that left knee and bring it up. Lifting it up to the front of our mat. Take a deep breath in right here. And on your exhale, twist open to the left. Now you could stay here, just grabbing on right hand to the outside of the left thigh. Or if you feel wild and crazy, you can start to expand and stretch that left leg forward. Slowly, if you have it straightened, come back to center. Torso comes forward, arms reach up. Exhale, hands to ground, step that left foot to the back of your mat. Now rooting down into the left hand, we're gonna come into a side plank. Option, all toes go to the right, or step right foot to the back of your mat. Yeah. Lift the hips up higher. Deep breath. And out. Inhale, right hand to the ground. Heels lift, plank. Exhale, high plank to low plank. Either halfway down or all the way down. Inhale to upward facing dog or cobra. Open up the heart space. And exhale to your down dog. The tabletop or not, pedal the feet. What, is this the first down dog of the day? Weird. So pedal the feet, shake out the head yes and no. See if, if there are places within the body that you can release. Give yourself another deep breath in. And out. Bending those knees, look forward, walk, hop, or step your feet to the front of your mat, forward fold. Bend those knees a lot, inhale, roll up to standing, circle sweep arms up to sky. And exhale, find chair, belly thighs hinge forward. Hands to shins, inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, down, left foot to the back of the mat. Anchor into the feet. Release hands from the ground. Reach them back. Roll the shoulders down and back. Get the belly off of the thigh, the right thigh specifically. Good. Find that power within the abs, within the legs. Squeeze front leg, back leg in towards each other. Now on your inhale, sweep arms up. Crescent lunge. Straightening the front leg, exhale, bend elbows, bend knees. Inhale up, and exhale down. One more time, inhale up. Don't let that right knee go beyond the toes, straight down. Pausing here, we're going to find eight pulses. So up and down, up and down, up and down for five Four, three, two, one. Take a deep breath in and out. Sweep the arms up. Exhale, hands come down. Oh, did we do it on the second side? We did it on the same side again. That's so funny. Okay, so let's step that left foot forward to meet the right. <laughs> That's great. We'll do it two times on the other side. Bend those knees, roll to come up. Arms reach up to the sky. 
and exhale, hinge down into your chair. Pause here for a second, deep breath in. And exhale, hinging forward. Take that right leg, step it to the back of the mat. It's all good. Worst case scenario is we get stronger, right? Okay, from here, reach those arms back, torso comes up. Roll those shoulders down and back. On your inhale, sweep arms up. Now take that left leg, straighten it. Exhale, bend knees, bend elbows. Inhale up and exhale down. Inhale up and exhale down. Pause right here. Relax those shoulders. We're gonna find the pulse. So eight times we come up and down and up and down and up and down. Just like a little bit of fun. We're just going up and down. Carousel ride up and down for our last four, three, two, one. Reach those arms up to the sky. Okay, now we're gonna take that right knee, bring it forward. As we bring it forward, broaden the chest, hands go anywhere that feels comfortable. We're gonna twist to the right. So twist that torso to the right. Left hand can go to the outside of the right leg. Right arm can go back. Lift up through the crown of the head, lift up through the chest. As an option, you can extend that right leg, press it forward, see what it feels like. Now bend the knee, torso back to center, inhale. Exhale, step the foot back, hands down to the ground. We're gonna come into our plank. So drawing the heels towards the right, left arm up. You can step that left foot back, stacking them, doing whatever feels right for you. Take a deep breath in, lift those hips up higher. And on your exhale, release left hand, left foot down, heels lift. Shift forward, inhale. Exhale, high plank, low plank. Inhale to upward facing dog or cobra. And then exhale to your down dog. Take a deep breath in. And out. Bending your knees, look forward, walk, hop, or step your feet to the front of your mat. Bending those knees, rolling up to standing, circle sweep, arms up. Exhale, chair. Fold over the legs, forward fold. Inhale, hands to shins, halfway lift. And then exhale to release down. So we have to do it on the second side, second time. So let's take that right foot, bring it back. Torso up, arms stretch back, belly coming off of the left leg. Relax those left toes. And then reach those arms up. Straighten up that left leg. Exhale, bend down. Inhale up. And exhale down. One more time. Inhale up. And exhale down. Hold it as low as you can. Pulse it out. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Straighten the legs. Inhale up. Exhale, bend that left knee. Step both feet to the back of your mat. Plank. Option, shift forward. Inhale. Exhale, high plank, low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale to your down dog. Or child's pose or whatever. Take a deep breath in. And out. Bring your feet together at the back of your mat. And on your inhale, take that right leg, reach it up. On your exhale, we're going to take that right knee, bring it in towards the right elbow, three-legged plank. Yeah, inhale, reach it up. Exhale to the center. Inhale up. Exhale over to the left elbow. 
Inhale up. Exhale to the front of your mat, dropping the foot down. So your hands can stay right close to that right leg. Shift the weight to the right foot. Lift that left leg up to the sky. Standing half split. See if you can lift up that left leg higher. Take a deep breath in. And out. One more deep breath in. And out. Now we're going to bring the left knee next to the right and lift the torso up. Yeah. Nice balance. From this position, we are going to take that left leg, step it behind the right, reach left hand up to the sky, and tip over to the right. And you can always drop if you want the left heel down. One's not better or worse, just different. Now take a deep breath in right here. As you exhale, left elbow, left knee come in towards each other. Yeah, now inhale, step it back, reach. Exhale, knee and elbow together. Last time, inhale, reach. And exhale, knee and elbow. Beautiful. Now relax. You can release that left knee a little bit. Step it back, warrior two. Let the arms open. Hug shoulder blades down and away from the ears. Look down to the right foot. Can you see your big toe? Yeah. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Keep pushing into the outer edge of that left leg. Taking a deep breath in. And out. Flip that right hand up to the sky. Inhale, reach it up. Pause here. Make sure you're not feeling in the lower back. Make sure you feel it in the side. Lift the corners of your mouth. Change your perspective. Change that attitude. On your inhale, come back to center. And on your exhale, right elbow down, left arm sweeps up. And it could go straight up or reach bicep and ear nice and close to each other. Rebend that right knee, stack it. Now, we're going to use these left obliques. Inhale, torso comes up. Yeah, now straighten the right leg. You're going to hip hinge back to the left. Reach as far as you can to the right. Pause here before we dissolve into our triangle. Reach, reach, reach. Relax the right toes and then bring right hand down. Left arm up to the sky. And breathe. Pushing into our feet. Using our obliques, inhale, torso comes up. Now look to that right foot, and we are going to step left knee up. And then plant it down and relax to dasana. Close your eyes. How is it you see yourself? What is something that makes you proud about you? Let that word, that thought, that feeling, let it enter in through the nostrils, let it fill the body. Inhale, reach the arms up to the sky. Exhale, hinge down through the center, forward fold. Hands to shins, halfway lift. And exhale, hands to the ground, step back into your plank. Shifting forward or coming straight into down dog or in child's pose, you do you. Exhale, high plank, low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, down dog. Take a deep breath in. And out through the nose. 
And one more deep breath in. And out through the nose. Get your feet together at the back of your mat. Left leg, inhale, lifts up to the sky. On your exhale, bend the knee, bring it right into that left elbow. Inhale up to the center, knee into chest, three-legged plank. Inhale up and exhale over to the right elbow. Inhale up and foot goes to the front of the mat as you exhale. Our standing half split. Hands go anywhere that feels comfortable, nice and close to that left leg. Shift the weight to the left foot, right leg lifts up. Bring your forehead down towards that left knee. See if you can lift that right leg up a little bit higher. Take two more breaths. And one more breath. Now we're gonna take, bring right knee next to the left and lift that torso up. And if you have to tap down at any point, guess what? It's all good, it's all good. Now you're gonna take that right knee, step it behind the left and then reach right hand up to the sky, tip it over to the left. You can always drop if you want, left that right heel down. Take a deep breath in here. Now you're gonna bring right knee, right elbow in towards each other. Yeah, inhale, step it back, stretch, reach, and exhale, curl it in. And last time. And curl it in. Nice. Now hands to hips. We're gonna step that right foot back, warrior two. Yeah, bending into the left knee. Right leg has a lot of power. Even circle those shoulders around. Hmm. Where are you doing so much work that maybe you can pull back? Or on the opposite side of things, where are you needing more engagement? Maybe not just here, but in life. Flip that left hand up to the sky. Inhale, reach it up. Reversing your warrior. Find power right here. Push into the outer edge of the right foot. Gaze can look down to the right toes or stay up towards the ceiling. Keep stacking the left knee over the ankle. On your inhale, come on back, warrior two. And on your exhale, left elbow down, right arm sweeps either to the front of the mat or up to the sky. Relax the toes. Feel the stretch, try to get those hands away from the feet. Now using your right obliques, inhale, torso comes up. We're gonna find trikonasana, so straighten that left leg, pitch the hips over to the left, reach as far as you can to, or pitch the hips to the right, reach as far as you can to the left. Rights and lefts today. Take a deep breath in, pause. And then when you're ready, release left hand down, right hand up. Take the biggest breath in. And out. One more deep breath in. And out. Inhale, torso comes up. This time, we're gonna take those left toes, bring them to the right side of your mat. Yeah, mm -hmm. five-pointed star. Deep breath in. And on your exhale, hinging forward, wide-legged forward fold. Shaking out the head, yes and no. Shifting from toes to heels. Just letting that breath slow down. If there's something you would like to do here, side to side lunges, 
you know, feel free to incorporate the things that you need to incorporate into this practice, to give yourself this space, this time. Twists. Shifting from toes to heels. Or maybe in this practice, it's just, again, coming back to that idea of what it's like to be us. Take another deep breath in. And out. Toe heel your feet together once or twice. And then bend those knees and we'll roll up to standing. As we come up to standing, all toes will face the front of the mat. Yeah, reach those arms up to the sky, deep breath in. So toes to the front of the mat. As you exhale, bring your hands to the front of the mat. And then we'll step back into our plank. Shift forward. Knees earth or not. High plank, low plank. Either upward facing dog or cobra, dealer's choice. And exhale to your downward facing dog. Pedal the feet out. Take a deep breath in. Out through the nose. Now, we're going to drop our knees down onto the mat. And we're going to bring the left elbow down onto the mat as well. Right knee is going to open up to the right side. And we're going to start to circle the right hip out and around. And you can go in either direction. You can play with stacking right hip on top of left and bending and straightening the leg. And we're going to do something weird, (laughs) because why not, right? (laughs) So what we're going to do is you are going to bring your left foot towards the right side of your mat. And then we're going to bring our hips neutral, come onto the left palm, and sink the right knee behind the left. So our knees and thighs should be crossed, yeah? Yeah, we're there so far. Now you're going to kick that right foot off to the left side and start to walk your hips back. Now, on the way back, you might choose to grab a block as we come into Gomakasana. (laughs) Right? So in Gomakasana, I'm sitting on the block. You can choose to not. So your hips would go in between your legs that are off to the opposite sides. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes, beautiful. Now, nice. Now we have the option here. You might stay here and be like, okay, I'm in a pretzel. This is like as far as I feel comfortable doing this. Or start to hinge forward over the thighs. Now, you could feel this one of a thousand different places, outside of the hips, inside of the hips, back of the hamstring, especially on the leg that's closest to you, so that's going to be your left. You might not feel it in any of the places that I'm saying. You might feel it in every place that I'm saying. Wherever you are, how open are you to this position? And does it feel right for you today? Take two breaths right here. And one more breath. Now we'll slowly walk our hands back. Torso comes upright. Now the same way we got into it, we're going to come out of it. Fingers crossed. So... You're going to roll forward, hands come down. Get onto that left knee and just unhook the right. And if you have to do it some other way, you do you. Drop that right elbow down to the ground and start to circle out the left leg and hip. 
clear as mud. You all did it. <laughs> I like throwing things at people and being like, and how does this work for you? You know, it changes me, and hopefully it gives us that attitude of just trying something new. Maybe you stack left hip on top of right and bend and straighten that leg a few times. Now, we are going to neutralize our hips, come onto the right palm, bring the right foot off to the left side of the mat, and then drop the left knee behind the right. Yep, so your feet are kind of already going off to opposite sides of the mat. So as you walk your hands back, you've created maybe space or sit on a block. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Now you can stay here. And this might be enough where you're like, I'm a pretzel, this is good. Or you can start to hinge forward over the legs. Now, we did this move back to back. How does it feel different on this side? Give yourself just two more breaths. Okay, pressing into our palms, we're going to walk those hands back. When and if you're ready, shift forward, come on to the right shin, unhook the left. Yay! Circle those hips out and around, creating as big of sweeping circles as it feels comfortable for you. Going in the opposite direction, or even trying something new. You can drop those hips side to side. And when you're ready, you have two options. If you're here in the room with me, you're just gonna drop your hips down and turn away from the camera. If you are one of those people that likes to be kind of like always facing in the same direction, walk those knees forward about three quarters of the way and then bring those feet forward. Now, we're gonna bring our hands behind the back of our knee pits and we're gonna start to lay back on our beach chair. Spring is coming. Do you notice at night, each minute, Sunset is later and later and later, and maybe you haven't realized it, but tonight you will, right? Last night, I got out of class. I looked up at the sky, and I could see little hints of Orion's belt. I could see how beautiful the night sky was, and yes, I could hear cars going by, but there was something just so gorgeous about seeing that connection, nature, industry. What is it that we focus on? Lean back more, maybe lift up a foot. Maybe lift up the other foot. Maybe stay here or straighten the legs. Maybe stay here or release the arms. Maybe bend the knees if it felt bad. Do what feels right for you, for Ted. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower back onto your back. Hug the knees in towards your chest. Reaching those arms back, maybe extending legs forward. Take a deep breath in and out through the nose. And then bending those knees, elbows, or um, bending those knees, soles of feet onto the mat, right 
Ankle goes onto the left thigh. We're just gonna hold this figure four for two breaths. So keeping this figure four position, hug the legs in towards the chest. And one more breath. And when you're ready, releasing the left foot down. Keep the cross and just let the knees go right to left a few times. Opening up the lower back, the hips. Notice where there's tender qualities within the body. And then releasing right foot down, left ankle crosses on top of the right thigh. When and if you're ready, hugging those legs in towards the chest. Again, just two breaths. And one more breath. And slowly releasing the right foot, but keeping the cross. Let the legs rock from side to side. And then unhooking that left foot. Bring both knees into the chest. And we are gonna drop over onto our left side into a fetal position. Unhook this. So as you come into a fetal position on that left side, use your left arm as a pillow. We're gonna take and bring our right foot towards our glute. And then I want you to either grab onto your pant leg, grab onto the foot. As we find our quad opening position, instead of trying to fight for it, I want you just to settle. Maybe encouraging the right knee to come down a little bit and trying to press that right hip flexor towards the left side of your mat. Relaxing the jaw. And then when you're ready, releasing the right foot but then bringing the knees in towards the chest. So you're making a 90 degree angle, hips, knees, off to that left side. Now, we're gonna take that right shoulder and start to peel it open to the right side of the mat, coming into our twist. If this twist doesn't feel good for you, you can always modify it, change it, empower yourselves, advocate for yourself. Just letting that body sink down. Notice again, where you meet resistance, physically, mentally. Now, to come out of this pose, we're gonna take and just lift the right knee up and then the left. You might have to rearrange the torso. So as we roll our legs and our body off to the right side, coming into the fetal position on the right, using right hand for a pillow, kick left foot towards the glute. Maybe dropping that left knee down and if you can't grab the foot or the pant leg, use a strap. Use something that makes your arms just a little bit longer. And instead of trying to fight for this stretch, just see if you can let it melt.
You know, a lot of what we do is trying to coax ourselves into a place where we are open to possibility. And I know when I've been shoved in front of something, sure, I might sink or swim, I might swim. But imagine if we're always being accosted like that. Slowly relaxing left hand and foot. Bring those knees so they come in towards that 90 degree angle on the right side. And then start to drop that left shoulder back. And you can wiggle the body any way that you need to to adjust. Maybe the eyes close. Taking a deep breath in and out. And when you're ready, letting the left knee lift and then the right. Giving those legs a squeeze in towards the chest. And as you're ready, taking your time to let your body dissolve into your Shavasana. Eyes close, arms can open up to the sides. Maybe the feet open up a little bit wider. Again, noticing how things might have changed from when you first walked into the class, into this space. And letting the body release. Considering these words by Wendell Berry. When despair for the world grows in me, and I wake in the night at the least sound in fear of what my life and what my children's lives may be, I go and lie down where the wood drake rests in his beauty on the water and where the great heron feeds. I come into the peace of wild things who do not tax their lives with forethought of grief. I come into the presence of still water and I feel above me the day blind stars waiting for their light. And for a time, I rest in the grace of the world, and I am free. Satana 
Suki no Bhavantu Om Shanti 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 Now imagine yourself on the mat. How is it you think of this person? How is it you think of you? Take a deep breath in and let it go through the nose. And start to take your time as you wiggle fingers and toes. Or staying just as you are if you choose to stay in Shavasana. There's no rush. When you're ready, rolling over onto one side or the other, or again, staying as you are. And then using your top hand to press yourself up to seated. May we feel the connection of our breath that links us to this present moment. May we find gratitude with each step that we take, with each breath. May we honor this journey. Thank you so much for joining me here, for showing up as you are and being who you are. All that I am bows to all that is within you. Namaste.